In this video, we're going to be checking out Wubin's newest tactical flashlight, the T1. This light has a great beam profile with excellent mid-range capabilities, a high-capacity 18650 battery with USB-C charging, and a very interesting tail switch, perfect for high-intensity situations and strenuous use. So if you're in the market for a new tactical light, this is definitely a great one to check out. The T1 has a very aggressive tactical style body with plenty of knurling and great surfaces to grip. There's a removable two-way pocket clip and a removable rubber tactical ring, which helps to prevent the light from rolling. There's a hidden USB-C charging port, which can be accessed by unscrewing this section beneath the head. And this design is much better than the standard rubber covers you see on most lights because it provides much better water resistance. This light also comes with a 3100 mAh 18650 battery. This light has an aggressive bezel, which would definitely be useful for striking and self-defense, a glass lens with a deep smooth aluminum reflector, and a luminous SST40 emitter with a cool white 6500K color temperature. Perhaps the most exciting feature on the T1 is the innovative tail switch design, paired with two-step mode sets, and this is really something special and I've never seen anything like it. The T1 has a tactical and an outdoor mode set, and they are very similar, but the outdoor mode set adds an eco and medium mode to the low and high modes found on the stepped UI found on the tactical mode. Pressing down on the tail switch when the light is off will turn the light on, and you can press it again to turn the light off. You can press and hold the switch to the side to access strobe mode, and release the switch to turn it off. When the light is on, you can also click the switch to the side to cycle through the different modes, which will be two modes on tactical or four on the outdoor mode. And if you double press to the side, you can also access an SOS mode. And if you hold it for two seconds, you can access strobe. Now we're gonna take a look at some beam shots so you can get an idea of how this light performs on a handful of different output modes. The T1 has a max output of 2000 lumens, a max throw distance of 498 meters, and a peak intensity of 60,000 candela. The beam pattern is well balanced and delivers a medium sized hotspot, good for spotting things at distance, and a nice wide flood, good for spotting and illuminating the surrounding area. It can run on this output for about one minute before dropping down to 700 lumens, where it can continue to run for another hour. This is the medium mode and it has an output of 550 lumens and a max runtime of two and a half hours. This is more than enough light for walking on a trail and you probably could get away with walking on the low mode, but if you don't mind being highly visible and want to be able to see things really well, this is a great mode to use for walking. The low mode has an output of 130 lumens and a max runtime of 10 hours. And this mode is great for up close tasks and provides plenty of light for indoor use. This is the five lumen eco mode from the outdoor mode set. And this mode will last for hundred hours, which is a little over four days of continuous use. It's probably a bit more light than you need for up close tasks like reading, but it's still quite useful for administrative tasks and good if you need to preserve battery life. Let me know your thoughts on the T1 in the comments below. And if you want to pick one up and help support the channel, you can find a link to this light in the description.